Hello, good morning. Thank you po, Sir Jerry. May buntag sa tanan. Um, pahiram po ng share screen. Okay, so thank you. Um, uh, naririnig po ba? Hello? Can you see my screen po, Sir Jerry? Okay. Baka loading pa. No? Nakikita na po? Alright. So, good morning. My... Alright. Salamat po. Thank you for confirming. So, yung mga sharing natin today, very inspiring. No? Emotional. <laughs> diba? So, um... Uh, kaya tuloy-tuloy lang tayo. So, this time, I'm gonna be sharing some inputs. So, reminder lang yung um, deadline ng uh, yung, may party line. <laughs> yung deadline ng poster making uh, is tomorrow, April 15. So, yung mga hindi pa nakasubmit completely, uh, hopefully may matutunan kayo dito sa sharing ko ngayon. So, yung isi-share ko, uh, yung title ng PT ko, uh, part 1, basic poster making, and then yung part 2 is yung about sa content ng email na ni-request ni Sir Joen. Teka ha, may party line. Pakimute po. <laughs> Salamat. Thank you. Pakimute po. Thank you. Right. Sige, let's proceed. Alright. So, again, uh, sa hindi pa nakakakilala sa akin, ako po si Rose Sardido. So, I'm from Tagbilaran City. So, Bisaya, no? Uh, sometimes, I'll, I'll try to do my best to speak in Tagalog and in English. But, uh, if ever may mga terms na hindi ko kayang Tagalogin, <laughs> Bisaya na lang. So, I'm your PT sharer for today. So, Um, my story before I became a member of IMG became uh, before I decided to do IMG full time. Before IMG, I was a graphic, I was a designer. So what uh, what kind of designer? All sorts, no? So jack of all jack of all trades, master of none. So uh, uh, this is me ten years ago. <laughs> Kita nyo naman no, about yung braso ko nyan. Uh, Ibang-iba na sa braso ko ngayon. Di ba? <laughs> Parang tapos na boxing. Anyway, so, what type of designer? I'm a visual artist, furniture designer, architectural, structural graphics, website designer. So, bale, I'm not the best, but uh, I know few uh, few things. no So, hindi ako the uh, best sa isang uh, specialized area, but I know some basic designing tips. And uh, Doc Jo asked me to share some basic knowledge for today. So, why am I sharing this? is because even if what Uh, ano yung pinanggalingan natin na career before IMG eventually magagamit din natin siya even if uh, we already left that certain career behind but some sometimes uh, that's our stepping point na para magamit din natin in the future okay so sige so I'm gonna be sharing my designer journey kasi connected to, po ito sa mga tips na isi-share ko today no so um, okay so my um My raw interest started when even if uh, even when I was still a kid no so nung elementary pambato po ako sa mga poster making contest normally physical arrangement committee I served the parish since age 10 decorating some stuff there so bali bakit ko sinasabi to kasi uh, it should start with your interest to learn no kasi even if uh, turuan tayo with a lot of tutorials a lot of guides and um, mentors but if we, we are not interested to learn something Uh, hindi siya magiging madali para sa atin. So, maybe it's talent, but talent and interest is related to each other. And sometimes, we are not talented, but we are interested. We can still develop what uh, or what our interests are. So, same with our journey sa IMG. No? Even if wala tayong knowledge about uh, personal finance, hindi tayo ma ma mabuti or magaling na speaker. But if we are interested to learn, we will grow. That's for sure. no And then, yung bonus ng yung uh, professional background. Now, for this, Uh, contest that we are about to uh, take, hindi naman siya necessary na may uh, experience tayo, but we need to have some few inputs to help us sa uh, gagawin natin na design. So, I started my professional um, designing uh, journey or my training with regards to designing since high school. So, I, I, I was included in the SPA Special Program for the Arts, Major in Visual Arts. So, uh, since First year to fourth year, I've been learning some stuff about um, 
different visual arts design. And in college, I took a course with BSIT major in architectural drafting. And then when I when I started my employment journey, so my first job was in Graphic Star Cebu. No, so I was a structural designer designing um, billboards. Ganon. Then I learned about graphics, then architectural design, and then. I worked online for five years. I was a website designer as well. So, but not really. I'm not a web developer, but I can give uh, advice or quality control with regards to how it looks. No, so website. And then in IMG now, I am the official poster maker of the Prosper Pinoy team. No, so bali nagamit ko den yung uh, mga na experience ko before. So. Let's proceed. No, so samples of the some posters I created. So ito yung mga posters. So this book here, I I was the one who created this. So ibang libro to pinalitan ko lang ng cover na SSBYF. Tapos nilagay ko sa background ng mga mountains and palm trees. So it's been used by everyone. No, nakikita ko to kung saan saan, but that's okay. No, so happy to serve. Kasi ah yung picture din naman in the background kinuha ko din lang sa Google. No, so that's okay. Palang a credit. So that's okay. And then one of the posters. I created is tong poster na to breakthrough. So it's kung nakita nyo na remove ko yung background is it would require a higher level of skill to do that or knowledge on a certain software Adobe Photoshop. But I won't teach you Adobe Photoshop today, kasi bakak mag nose bleed no. So um, ita try ko lang iteach yung mga principles of design. Okay, now so this poster. Hindi ako yung gumawa niyan, but i-remind ko lang yung everyone that our primary goal is to grow in our IMG business, so not to become the best designer. Kasi baka makalimutan natin, i-google natin lahat ng time natin gumawa ng poster, tapos makalimutan natin mag-prospect, mag-follow up, mag-share list. So let's be reminded that that certain poster on our social media pages is just a small tool a uh, small piece of the puzzle and we have to see the bigger picture so by the way congratulations sir bench and mamfelli no so idol diba so yan yung goal natin okay now okay recap before we proceed on the principles of design no we we need to do a recap teka lang ha okay so recap on the contest rules okay so deadline is to tomorrow april 15 so reminder no and then rules and guidelines so baka sayang yung effort natin pag create ng designs and then it won't be uh, hindi siya nag-follow sa rules and guidelines so let's just remind everyone first of all yung pwedeng sumali sa contest na to are uh, yung mga tao mm -hmm. na register sa dominate uh, associate course so if you haven't registered yet uh, you can register nasa email naman yon so ask your CEOs or your SMDs on how to register so it doesn't necessarily na natapos mo yung whole course but as long as you are registered to the associate dominate associate course so that's the one so if you haven't registered hindi ka po makakasali sa contest na to and then next is yung banner size is 888 pixels by 888 pixels uh, wide 888 high and 888 wide so that's minimum so if you can do it bigger than that that's okay as long as it's uh, square no so um but not so much then hindi masyadong mataas ng resolution kasi iba po yung tinatawag natin na resolution for prints and for web web base or for viewing kasi if it's for printing na graphics it should be very high resolution para sharp yung edges niya but if it's for um graphic or website na uh, na usage dapat hindi masyado for viewing lang and good good thing then kasi si Facebook may platform siya na na magko-compress ng mga files so for example malaki yung file na in-upload mo automatically si Facebook iko compress niya yung file mo para hindi siguro mabigat sa server nila and when the time is downloaded again and uploaded again kaya nagiging pixelated yung images so going forwards we need to be careful in posting and using reusing images kasi nagiging pixelated siya and as uh, if we want to look professional to our clients we need to be careful not to upload low quality images kasi parang ano siya eh, uh, anong tawag dyan? hindi siya masyadong professional tingnan so so, if you want to re-upload some images, you can ask for the uh, original copy and upload it again. If it's from Facebook, it's not really that good. And if it's being used on websites, uh, if you have big resolution images, that would affect your loading time of your website. Now, for example, gagamitin mo yung banner mo, i-upload mo sa 
uh, landing page mo sa dominate, tapos hindi mo na-optimize or na-reduce yung size, uh, it would affect on the loading time. So, matagal siyang mag-load, especially for those na wala masyadong, hindi masyadong mabilis yung internet connection. So, we need to be careful. So, for now, we need to be, uh, we need to be um, limited to 888 by 888. Kasi binigay na nila yung size na yan. So, rectangular and uh, portrait and landscapes are not... Um, accepted. Dapat square. Okay? And then next is add text must contain 20% less uh, text only. So that's the Facebook rule. So one of the um, tool na nakita ko sa Facebook where you can use this as well, I mean sa Google, you can use it as well, the uh, social-contests.com slash check-image. So you need to uh, test your image. So, makikita mo dito step 1, upload your image from the computer. For example, this one, I created this ad. And then, step 2, select the squares that contain text. So, 1, 2, 3. And then, step 3, here's the result. So, 3 squares selected containing text. So, 12% of your image contains text. So, in, in other words, I pass. Congratulations, your image meets Facebook requirement 20% or less text. So you can also do do this. So again, you need uh, you can take a screenshot of this um, slide and try to check if pasado ba yung image mo sa tinatawag natin na 20% text only. All right? Um, there's a lot of other tools. Ito lang yung ito lang yung nakita ko first in line sa Google. So if you want to uh, use another tool, that's okay as well, no? And then Add image must be as background. So, based sa pagkakaintindi ko, dapat ganito po yung uh, type ng ads natin. Meaning, yung images, background, meaning yung text natin is on top of the image. So, ano yung pagkakaintindi ko sa not using image as background yung ganito? Like, for example, this is the canvas size. You have a certain image here and then below it is the text. So, I think this is not the one that uh, Joe Mar wants. So, uh, they wanted to use the image as a background. So, take note of that as well, right? So, dito naman sa Canva, uh, gagawin natin yung um, gagawin natin yung ad. Maraming template na nag use ng image as a background. So, be careful of that. Baka, baka kasi sayang yung effort at hindi siya mag-fit doon sa standards na isinet nila para sa image natin. Okay? And then, image, uh, ad image must not be distorted. Uh, ano po ba yung tinatawag natin na distortion of images? For example, this is the usual images and sometimes you stretch it that way. So, that's what we call distorted images. So, again, normal images, distorted images. Meaning, lumapad yung mukha ng babae. But that's okay kasi sa Canva naman, good news kasi they won't allow images to be distorted. So, meaning, if you stretch it, stretch it down, nagka-crop lang siya automatically. So, hindi siya nag-distort. But going forward, if you use Microsoft Word or whatever... Um, paint or whatever application you will be using in the future, be careful of uploading distorted images. Kasi po, uh, sa graphic design world is a uh, mortal scene. Bawal talaga mag-distort ng images. Text can be distorted, that's okay. But images, it's a big no-no. So be careful of that, alright? And then, okay, so a submission, email, banner ads to dominate at img-corp.com Net. Do not upload on the Facebook group chat or group page kasi baka gayahin ng iba. Anyway, so dito i-email yung submission natin. And then maximum of 10 banner ads per person, right? And then of course, you have the chance to win a Chromebook laptop. So may the best man win, no? Diba? So it doesn't mean that I'm a designer. Ako na yung siguradong mananalo because yung based on the guidelines, it's been very uh, simplified. So uh, kahit sino may chance na pwedeng manalo. So, and then, we will be using Canva as well. So, wag na tayong gumamit ng ibang software. Even, I I know how to use Adobe Photoshop, but in this certain contest, I, I, am, I am using Canva kasi nas in place na lahat ng template. So, konti na lang yung gagawin mo and then yung mga uh, choice of fonts is been set up already. Okay? So, Right, so let's get started. Actually, intro pa yun, di ba? No, so, uh, before we get started, we need to be aware yung tinatawag natin na modern design trend. So, may, baka kasi sayang yung effort natin tapos old-fashioned siya tingnan. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng mga old old trends? No, so before, usong-uso yung mga imbos na mga design. Yung mga may texture, yung mga naka, what you call that, mga imbos like that. But, uh, and then, gradient. Ano ba yung tinatawag na gradient from blue to red? Some, Several colors in one object. Yan yung tinatawag na gradient. Sometimes rainbow color. And then striking colors doesn't work anymore like that. No? So, and then, 
shadowy and then a lot of uh, metallic uh, elements in there and then usong uso before yung mga festive font so that's what we call all trends however sa trend ngayon take note flat design is the key you know so even on websites before we need to do buttons on metallic something yung mga shining shimmering but it's not gonna work now so kung makikita yung mga feed sa instagram parang mas maganda tignan kapag puti yung background or mga clean type of um, design so flat even on websites when you see buttons flat na wala na siyang wala na siyang mga effects na mga nakakasakit sa mata kasi um Ngayon kasi, mas importante yung message over the design. Kasi sometimes, if you overdo the design, it would uh, aagawin niya yung focus ng audience na tumitingin sa designs natin. Subtle, yung hindi masyadong ob obvious. Minimalist, yan yung mga common ngayon. Lots of white space, meaning a lot of breathing room with regards to when people look at your design, parang nakakahinga siya, hindi, hindi masyadong crowded. No, yan, yun yung trend ngayon. Then, cool to the eyes and simple font. So, for this time, simple simplicity is the key. So, it, choice of fonts is very crucial when you design something. No, and then, for so example, this poster I got it on Google Avengers poster 1980s. I'm not sure. So, nakikita mo dito yung logo ni Avengers. Maraming shadow, my my outer glow, yung color ng far around is it's so. Uh, let me cheap or <laughs> hindi siya masyadong magandang tingnan however if you see the new Avengers poster so nakita mo dito na remove na nila yung shadow and then monochrome color so yung ginamit na color is blue uh, purple black and then red so meaning one one fourth of the color wheel lang yung ginamit na color so they don't use a lot of colors anymore so you need to take note of that when doing your poster and if you can see it's very cool to the eyes no blue black and and purple no so ganun dapat so you need to be modern with regards to design kasi baka ma overdo so i understand that there are psychology of colors no like Red is for bravery, blue is for peace, something like that. But you need to be careful uh, when you put them together kasi baka ma ma maging disaster yung image or yung uh, dating ng designs mo. So take note of that and then if you want it to look professional, if you want to have a lot of like uh, cropped backgrounds, um, it's not gonna work for now. So if if you don't know Adobe Photoshop Illustrator in Design and Corel Draw, it would be hard. So just use uh, stock images na ready to use. And if you want to use your own photo, um, and you want to crop the background, there's a I forgot the name of the software. I'll message later. There's a, a an easy way to do it, but the best way is to use uh, do it in Photoshop. But um, for now, just stay with Canva. Kasi learning Photoshop, it would take years. No, hindi, hindi siya kayang i-learn hanggang buka. So, may, may hihirapan tayo dyan. So, stay with Canva. Again, that's the best software for now. So, walang iba. Tama si Jomar Hilario. Canva is the best. Kasi they have thousands of templates in place already. So, it uh, they make it easy for us to do it. No, And then... Okay, so here comes the principles of design and their importance. So, Sir Jomar Hilario and Sir Bobet Prudente, they already shared the marketing side, like choosing the images with emotion. So, that's okay. That, that's good. So, I'm not gonna tackle on what um, images or what ads that converts people. So, you need to be careful with your caption, with your... Um, Ang tawag dito, yung text ng design mo kasi it's on the marketing side. It's up to you. So common sense sa yung bahala dyan kung ano yung hugot na gagawin mo. In other, but in this training, I will show you some visual principles of design wherein uh, it could guide you with your poster. So you need to be careful with regards to emphasis. No? So when, when you design something, you should ask yourself what is the first piece of information my audience need to know. So for example, in this one, Yung pinaka first na nag nag strike sa atin is yung word na rocks no so the name of the band handles misaya rocks so gusto ng um nag design nito na makita siya as a rock or 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 ano tawag dito cool makikita siya na something that will rock your world so that's why ito yung pinalaki niya so hindi niya masyadong binigyan ng emphasis yung guitar and then the third um uh, area na mababasa mo is itong schedule ng worship experience tour. So, yan yung uh, number one, one, the name of the band, two, three, and then four. So, yan yung um, hierarchy or the level of emphasis na nilagay na sa design niya. When you start doing your own design, think 
what is my most important part or what's the what's the part that is that my audience needs to know first what is second and what what is third so yan bigyan mo ng emphasis yung certain part or element ng yung design so Make a mental outline, let your brain organize the information, lay out your design in a way that communicates in that order. And then, so, you need to understand the emphasis, um, fury of size and scale. So, for example, before, for this one, the diver and the uh, whale, or I don't know, what, whatever is this. So, magka, kung same lang ng size nila, parang they are equally important, di ba? So, however, in this one, pinalaki yung whale, parang binigya, binigyan siya ng more important. So, meaning, if you want to people to see uh, one element of your design first, you need to make it into a bigger size. Okay? And then, typography, typography or font. So, makikita mo dito, name ni Jane Smith. Tapos dito, i-change it, yung font. Mas nabigyan siya ng emphasis. So, you need to be careful with the choice of fonts as well. Okay? And then, next, um, principle of design, tinatawag natin na balance. So, nakuha ko lang to sa Google, but it's been discussed in our classes before. But, uh, itong balance naman is common sense lang. But sometimes, we need to have some guidance with regards to doing it, no? So, never forget that every element you place on a page has a weight, no? So, for example, itong bundok dito, itong sky. So, there's a there's a weight. And then, symmetrical design creates balance through equally weighted elements aligned on the other side of a center line. For example, center line to, dalawang tao, dalawang tao. So, it's tinatawag natin na symmetrical design. However, um, symmetrical designs are always pleasing if not occasionally boring. So, sometimes, kailangan mo din baliin ng konti yung symmetry. So, tinatawag siyang asymmetrical designs are bolder and can bring real visual interest and movement to your, to your composition. So, however, you need to learn how to use the basics of asymmetrical designs kasi baka failure yung design natin. So, may tinatawag tayo na rule of thirds. It's been applicable in uh, design as well as in photography. So, uh, makikita natin dito Itong tumatakbong lalaking to, parang boring siya nasa center. But in this one, uh, minug, eh, uh, kasi nga nagisibog, moved siya on the other side. So, that's why, <laughs> so, that's why um, naging uh, little bit interesting. So, another example of rule of thirds with regards to photography, no? So, makikita dito, may batang tumatakbo. So, hindi necessary na you will follow it. Um, talaga na is is shot mo sa line na yan so it is invis invisible line makikita mo sa canva when you move your images around may nag-appear na uh, grids that's uh, what we call rule of thirds so makita mo dito yung grass is one third tapos yung background niya na forest is one third so yeah that's a uh, rule of thirds and then this one as well yung bato niya first two squares then yung aso nandito tapos yung background niya na field na sa back niya and when you want to do it a little bit bolder so as you can see here this is an example of rule of thirds as well yung yung road one third of the design and then yung buildings dito tapos yung tall building is in the middle of the line di ba and then another example if you want is centered still should apply yung tinatawag natin na rule of thirds yung yung pond or yung road dito one third of the design and then the trees tapos nasa center yung castle so for example this one center sila but the rocks here one third of the design so you need to be careful on that as well when you move images around uh, pay attention to tinatawag natin na rule of thirds. And then, mas, mayroon din tayong tinatawag na rule of odds. So, mas magandang tingnan if align siya into odd number. So, meaning, ito even kasi, like one line yung camera at, at saka yung, yung sombrero. So, parang four, four lines lang yung na-create. However, dito, five or three, uh, that's better. No? So, it's better to use odd number with regards to your design than even numbers because it would affect your balance and mas maganda siyang tingnan. Okay? The alignment, balance with alignment. So, makikita mo dito parang spread out yung design. They fix it here. It look better. So, you need to be careful on that as well. So, however, um, designing is a totally experimentation. Now, sometimes, uh, hindi mo siya mabibigyan ng oras. Like, one hour to design certain certain piece. Kasi sometimes, madali mo lang makukuha yung experimentation. Sometimes, it takes time to play around with your element. So, that's why you need more time and you need to kailangan mo siyang i-feel. No, hindi siya pwedeng madaliin. No, it's a... Uh, kasi, kaya tinatawag nila na weird yung mga artist kasi maraming nangyayari when you when you go ahead and design something. So, and then, contrast next um, principle is you need to use color contrast pretty well. So, as you notice here, 
black yung uh, background tapos yung text is uh, rainbow or or light color so that's what we call contrast no so contrast is what people mean when they say a design pops ano bang ibig sabihin na nagpop parang lumabas yung message like that so and then tinatawag din nila na um how your audience know what is most important if uh, if everything is in bold so as you notice here tong subheading the de debut show uh, hindi siya bold that mama j is bold so hindi hindi pwedeng bold lahat. No, you need to play around with a combination of uh, hairline text and bold text and heavy, heavy text. No, ganon. Then as you seek examples of really strong, effective design, you'll notice most designs only feature one or two type faces. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng type faces? Font, no, repetition of fonts. Combination po yan ng um, bold at saka not bold or tinatawag nila na serif and non sun serif type of font. So, later i-share ko kung anong ibig sabihin yan. Okay? So, makikita mo dito contrast example sa so, ma maraming mga tao tapos may isa na parang uh, winning. So, hindi siya masyadong kita dito but nung uh, change yung color na kita na siya nag-pop na yung design. So, that's what we call uh, contrast. Dark versus light colors. Okay? Then, repetition. So, if you limit yourself to two strong fonts or typefaces or three strong colors, you'll soon find uh, find out you'll have to repeat something so that's okay it's often said the repetition unifies and strengthens the design so um sometimes two fonts is okay so don't go for three parang para sa akin it's too crowded like three fonts and you need you don't need to repeat um uh, different type of fonts like for example bold la ay ser sans serif lahat ng design mo so sometimes you need to do the heading serif and then you need to do the subheading sans serif or the other way around it's a little bit of combination you can't do all fonts heading and subheadings into serif fonts ano ba ibig sabihin ng serif yung mga may mga buntot na ganito so that's serif fonts sans serif is the plain fonts na mga gothic type na mga fonts so um Again, combine your fonts uh, wisely, so don't overdo it, no? Sato lang din, okay? And then, repetition also is uh, good when you play around with the elements. For example, in this uh, case, na-repeat yung mga palm trees. This time, mas malaki yung size, iba yung color, something like that. So, one element, different variations or repetition of designs. So, white space. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng white space? So, as you notice here, mal may malaking white space dito. Uh, white space is exactly that the empty page around the elements in your composition. So often, simply giving a composition more room to breathe can upgrade it from mediocre to successful. No, so our brains naturally associate ample white space around an element with importance and luxury. So it's telling your eyes that objects in one region are grouped separately from objects elsewhere. So the logo above uses active negative space to communicate multiple ideas in one fun creative design. So as you notice here, nandito yung text, a lot of white space around. So hindi pwedeng i-move tong text dito sa mga squares. It, it wouldn't look good. So white space However, doesn't need to be white, no? So, don't be too literal about things, no? So, for example, this one is still white space, meaning clouds, background, and a room to breathe. This one is white space, meaning the object here, the subject, and then my nature all around her. So, that's white space. So, you can use different colors, just some spaces to breathe, especially for call to action buttons or yung mga click here, yung mga watch this video, especially on websites, dapat yung buttons natin or call to action, may white space around it para hindi hindi siya ma-overcrowded or hindi siya ma-overdo. Okay? Okay, some other tips also with regards to design. Basic lang, you need to learn how to um, do text line breaks. No? Kasi marami akong nakikita na um, nag-fail with regards to text line breaks. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin? For example, journey to financial tapos nasa baba si Freedom. So, as you notice here, it would just, um, nagpa-follow lang siya kung ano yung space na available. So, why not do it this way? Journey to financial freedom. So, i-enter mo ng kaunti yung one phrase na related to each other. So, that way, your message is clearer. Okay? So, um, Kapag hindi mo pa na-submit yung poster mo, go back and check your text and try to repair line breaks to, to improve your messages with your poster. And then, Sample number two, delivering the financial wake-up call. Changing people from spenders to savers. So, how about make it this way? Delivering the financial wake-up call. 
changing people from spenders to savers. So better, di ba? So better messaging if you do it that way. So be careful with text line breaks. Yan yung matagal kong natutunan before. So palaging sinasabi ng supervisor ko na you need to really pay attention to text line breaks. Kasi minsan, pinafollow lang natin kung ano yung binibigay ng, ng canvas or ng ng text box natin kasi sometimes this one is fall, uh, followed what is uh, what, kung ano yung available na space but sometimes we need to improve it a little bit okay next global campaign for financial literacy to educate 10 million families by 2025 why not do it this way global campaign for financial literacy to educate 10 million families by 2025. So, much better messaging. So, be careful with your text line breaks. Even in your post in, in Facebook, it's just a very simple um, uh, principle to overlook. So, at least you learn something, no? So, going forwards, your contents, your uh, graphics, your your letters, your whatever you're writing, um, apply text line breaks, no? Okay? Okay, so, advice lang, just sleep, you'll figure it out along the way. So, hindi mo kailangan i-learn lahat. Sometimes, you figure things out when when you are already there. So, that's designing. Same with IMG. No? Hindi natin sasabihin na mamaya ko nagawin yung business kapag naka, uh, na-learn ko na lahat ng pasiko-siko. It's not, it's not the other way around. It's the other way around, no? So, dapat simulan mo kaagad and then you will uh, stitch things along the way, no? And then... Have fun and get that Chromebook laptop. So, good luck to everyone. So, I hope uh, kung sino may yung nanalo, mama, mananalo, congratulations in advance, no? Okay, so... Okay, so Canva, go to Canva, no? So, Canva is the software or the website that we, we will be using. So, I'll just move it down a little bit. Okay, so... Let's start new, no? So, when uh, starting your design in Canva, so you need to create template. So, you need to start with a square um, square design. Huwag ka nang pumili ng ibang uh, ibang orientation ng design. Tapos, i-resize mo later. So, as Jomar said, you need to search for yung tinatawag natin na social media type of um, templates. Okay, then. Pumili ka lang dyan ng templates na gusto mo. So, well... Yung mga square na mga type of templates. So, for example, this one. So, sinabi niya na back, uh, the design should, uh, the image should be background. So, pumili ka ng mga template na ganito. So, use template. Okay. So, for example, um, bigyan niyo ako ng hugot na gagawin natin. Okay. So. Right. Okay. Let's say. Sample lang niya. Bahalag. Pobre. Basta hilas. Bisaya na. No? So, as you notice here, the, the, the it doesn't apply proper li line break. So, what you need to do is you need to adjust your font a little bit. no? So, make it smaller. So, the current font is 58.58. .58, so, try making it 56. No, it's not gonna work. 48. Something like that. So, that's okay. Then, you're gonna remove this little subheadings around it. Sometimes, if you want to put subheadings, that's okay. No? So, uh, let's say, lagyan mo ng hashtag, no? Hashtag, nga nga. Joke lang po ito, no? And then, you need to uh, select um, image for that. So, sa may image nga mo fit. So, you go to photos here. Then, you will, like for example, this one. So, you need to select free images. So, wag yung mga may crown na ganito pro. Kasi hindi may mga watermark siya when you, when you download your image. So, let's say this one, free image. So, you need to drag it, drag, and then wait for it to fit like that. And then, there, no? So, when you move it, as you notice, uh, Nag-drag ako ng photos dito. As you notice, the grid appears. Yung para, para sa tinatawag natin na rule of thirds. Let's say, let's move it here. Okay. Mm, I'm not sure. I'll try another image. Okay, that's better. No? Yun na yun, no? Bahalag po, Bri. Basta hilas. Shopping, di ba? So, as you notice here, you can play around with your image. Pwede nyo isibog dire, no? Ikay bahala. 
uh, you can reduce the size you can play around with the image rule of thirds no sige so shopping bags on um, two squares let's see oh, pwede diba so yan yun simple and then when you when you're done with it just click this one download download with png that's it you're finished you're done no so you can create posters in a matter of seconds in canva so very very easy to do no and then if you want to edit it it would go on your um uh templates you would it would go on your uh, account so if you go to home makikita mo yan sa my designs when you want to edit it so so as you notice here so na dito yung mga ginawa mo na design so yun yung ibang mga posters ko nakita nyo na so ganun no and then if you want to upload your own image as well like for example going back here if you want to use your own image go to photos open your image on your computer drag and drop no teka ha naghang Second. So if you want to use another image, you go to your um, files. So example lang. For example, this one. Example. So just pick your uh, image with your mouse, long press, and then drag it here, and then drop. So that's it. You have your own image here, which you can use on your design. So as you notice here, I use my own images on some posters. So you can do that as well. But again, be careful. Your image should be high resolution. It should have a lot of um, emotion in it. So be careful with the use of images. And sometimes feeling natin okay yung design natin then sa pananaw ng iba, hindi naman. So we need to follow the modern trend. We need to follow proper balance, proper hierarchy of emphasis and all of the other principles of design na nakikita natin. Okay? What is the takeaway from this training? So when when you do something, you do emails, you do um, designs. You need to put yourself in the shoes of your customers, of your audience, clients, and friends. So sometimes, ano ba yung mafeel mo kapag ikaw yung nakakakita ng ad mo, kapag ikaw yung nakakakita ng caption mo. You need to put yourself in their shoes. Sometimes, kasi if we are too uh, involved in the process, nakakalimutan natin. Hindi natin mafeel yung um, yung yung emotion if tayo yung gumawa so we need to have an outsider check it so yung tinatawag natin na before in my online job we have what we call tinatawag namin na grandma test meaning ipapakita mo sa someone outsider your your grandma literally ipapakita mo if okay ba naintindihan ba nila if naintindihan nila meaning naiintindihan ng lahat so ganon grandma test no and then don't be afraid to give people inconvenience if it's for their own good. Of course, my always uh, favorite quote always. So you need to teach your team about it. No, hindi pwedeng tayo lang. So um okay, although I I can design things but wala kong planong bumalik sa pagiging designer kasi bakit active income kasi siya. So malayong-malayo sa system natin sa IMG. So uh don't uh wag mo masyadong karirin. So wag, wag mo kalimutan na may iba tayong uh, dapat gawin on top of this. So just Learn new things, be excited with your journey. So thank you so much for listening to God be the glory. So that's all po. Salamat.